Zika outbreak has caused anxiety and confusion for our patients. The CDC updates are constantly undergoing revision. We hope that this video will help our patients understand the current protection and prevention guidelines before or during pregnancy with regards to Zika. Zika is a daytime mosquito-borne virus. The areas of outbreak currently are in Cape Verde, Pacific Islands, South America, Central America, Mexico, and the Caribbean. While the guidelines are extensive, we want to cover the most common questions our patients may have. On our website, www.neobgyn.org, we have up-to-date links to the CDC guidelines. Any concerns about Zika should be reviewed with your provider, and this video is only for guidance and may be changed at any time with new updates. The current recommendations as of February 5th, 2016 for pregnant or those who may become pregnant include limit your exposure risk, do not travel where Zika is spreading. We can provide you with a note for travel reimbursement. For patients who travel to an area of Zika outbreaks, please review your exposure with your provider. If you have recently, within two weeks, been to a country with Zika and developed two symptoms of rash, conjunctivitis, fever, or arthralgias, joint pain, contact us immediately. We will recommend blood testing and a fetal ultrasound, and if necessary, consultation with an infectious disease specialist. New recommendations for asymptomatic patients who travel within two to 12 weeks include consultation by ultrasound for a fetal evaluation, which may need to be repeated at four week intervals. Blood and urine testing for Zika will be sent. Interpretation of any blood work will occur in consultation with your physician who may involve a specialist and at this time takes six to eight weeks for results. While the CDC is determining all the ways that Zika can be transmitted, we recommend caution. If you are planning a pregnancy and you or your sexual partner have recently traveled to an area with Zika, we recommend waiting 12 weeks to conceive. Pregnant patients whose sexual partners went to a Zika area should use condoms or avoid intercourse for the duration of the pregnancy. Blood work for the contact is not recommended at this time. With casual contacts, such as friends or colleagues who have been to Zika areas, we recommend proper hand washing and sanitizing. We recognize that this is an area of rapid change. Stay tuned and at this time, please discuss all your concerns with us. We are here to allay your fears and we want you to enjoy your pregnancy. Remember that even in countries where the virus is transmitting, most women have had very healthy and normal babies.